spending months getting beaten to a pulp, the cloud stocks have made a major comeback over the last few weeks, particularly today. Look at Zendesk. That's the software as a service company that helps other businesses handle customer support. It's a platform. After a tough run, the company reported a solidly better than expected quarter last month, and the stocks come roaring back to 77 as of today. So let's check in with Mikkel Svein. He is the co-founder and chairman and CEO of Zendesk. Mr. Svein, welcome back to Mad Money. Nickel, it's been a little bit of time since we've seen you last, and you are now closing in on a billion dollars in sales. Magic number for us, because we always identify companies that are at that level that are great buys. Yep, yep. We are very ambitious about 2020. We expect to, or we have ambitions about a billion dollar revenue number, and, you know, we're excited uh, about uh, running fast into 2020. Now, you are starting, you have clients gigantic clients. We had a company called Data Dog on yeah. last week. Yeah. And we thought they were incredibly impressive. And it, it, it's very clear that they can get you the data that you want to grow with. What, yeah. Now, if I were to call that, when would I intersect with Zendesk if I hired Data Dog? <laughs> so we work with uh, Datadog. I know Olivier. He's a fantastic oh, guy. Oh, he's good, isn't he? Yeah, I should take him to your Italian restaurant in uh, Brooklyn. Uh, <laughs> no, but it's, a, it's an amazing company. We started working with them a few years ago. They use our software. We're a big consumer of their software. And we believe very much in kind of to truly understand your customers, you have to have your customer data flow really, really right. elegantly. So how we think about Datadog, how we work with AWS, and getting, cust- uh, getting our- Amazon Web Services. C- exactly, getting our customers' businesses to understand their customers be- better based on data is, is key to how we operate. Now, do you have partners? Because when you see, I see Netflix as one of your customers. And, yep. uh, I've called Net- Netflix customer service. Right before I saw Reed, Reed Hastings, I called it 3 a.m. in various places 3M. Someone picked up, someone knew everything, and then someone knew everything about me. Where are you in that chain? So we work with, uh, we primarily work with Netflix on all their production. So that means that every production they have, all the partners that they have, all the different vendors, all the all the constituents in their whole production element is tied together and used are using Zendesk. So we currently don't are too deeply involved in external facing customer oh, service, but that's a big part of uh, you know the dialogue. So, but would a, would you with a Harry's? Because I use Harry's. Is that <laughs> you? I mean, I, I, you know, I've spoken to one of your sales, but I'm trying to figure out. I mean, Harry's is a pretty well run outfit, and they must rely on you to do something with that makes yeah. it so that they have that kind of friendly customer service. Exactly. Like we believe tremendously in the future of all these direct to consumer businesses, right. and like we believe that is the future model. So we work with a lot of them, including Harry's. And, and so many others. How much of it is just you advising them, giving them a business plan, telling oh. them that this is how you need to do it? No, we don't do that. <laughs> they they got to hire are, you. We are a software company, and that's what we do. Well, I, I've got to tell you, uh, when I see uh, what Wall Street is saying, you know, the stock was down, and people are saying, well, listen, you got to ask them, there's been some potential softness in international. Now, I, I always am reluctant to ever say there's softness when a guy's about to hit a billion dollars, because I know that <laughs> so few hit a billion dollars, but I do want to address it, because the stock had, had a tough summer. Well, so we, we did that a few quarters ago, where we talked about some of the unevenness in our execution internationally. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are a very internationally oriented company. We have half our business outside the U.S., uh, which is fantastic. You know, it makes us very resilient, et cetera, et cetera. And that also means that we can continue to grow at a very high rate. We grew 36% last quarter. And you should say that but, means in the number of customers, too. In revenue, you're yeah. 200,000. 200, we probably have a much bigger number than even that one, customers. Yeah. We have a lot of customers. We have a lot of customers internationally, too. But we also, like, we're growing so rapidly that actually covering such large regions with the account, with the amount of kind of executives and, and team that we have internationally, we can do better. And we've seen some unevenness in our execution, mm-hmm. and we're very determined on kind of getting that back on track again. And just in that, there's tremendous leverage for our future growth. Talk to me about Gather and Sunshine, because I don't know whether either one of those were really uh, rolling out when we spoke to you last. (laughs) So Sunshine, we've been talking about Sunshine for about a year now. And Sunshine is our new CRM platform that helps businesses connect all their data, connect all their applications. And it lives natively in AWS. So it's very easy for developers. We think about it almost as kind of open source. So if I'm a developer, I contact, I hire you? What do I do? No, it's a platform that we enable for developers. Okay, so it's like Twilio, where you right on our Salesforce. Yeah, we just it's just it lives natively in AWS and it it's very targeted towards 
CX, so customer experience and customer relationship. And we provide all these tools that make it very easy for businesses to deploy all the things and connect all their things and all that data with Zendesk and with other applications. So we really truly believe that that's the future of thinking about customer relationship and customer experience. Well, I'm glad you explained that. I know a lot of people just say, Jim, Zendesk, you bring these companies up, they're like, they don't really do anything. I said, no, they're why companies stay in business for heaven's sake. You just don't need them because they tend to be a little bit bigger than uh, one restaurant or one hotel. But we have a lot of small businesses and our customers, and we're very proud of them, too. Well, you're, I know as someone who <laughs> do checked in with your organization, you're absolutely right. Okay, that's Mikkel Svein. He is the chairman and CEO of Zendesk. I know I brought this company to you before. Why? Because this is how modern-day business is run. May have money's back into the break. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.